Blue Freezy. Hmm. I don't know. I, I was thinking it would be more of a blueberry, blueberry raspberry. Um, that is a the kid's dream. Anyways, maybe a bit uh, sugary for me. Anyways, I am going to the show today. Um, so um, I'm gonna do uh, edit my vlog from the last couple of days and get that up, um, and then get ready for the show. Um, it means the mixing is on hold for a day. Um, December looks like a weak month, and, um, I really need to hermit, um, to get over the smoking. Um, so, um, this is my last hurrah here for a while. I've said, said that a few times, but I'm absolutely serious this time. Um, and, and there's really nothing I have to see in December. So, um, that's the plan for the day. Um, time to put it in motion. So it's around 9, maybe a little bit after, I didn't check the clock. This is a necessary bathroom stop on the way to the Trumboplex. Um, Rosa Parks was down that way. Uh, I'm walking up Grand River. Um, I walk by the casino. This isn't exactly the... I mean, it's not... As far as Detroit is concerned, this is relatively safe, but it's still uh, not exactly the safest spot to walk down, as I'm sure you can see here. Um, so I'm going to put this away. Um, there's a few shots I want to get, though. Um, I. I believe that's the casino there. We'll find out when I get there. This is indeed the casino. Um, at least I think it is. It, it says Motor City on it. I believe that's the casino. I'm not a gambling type. You won't see me in there. But, uh, it's a few more blocks up. So I'm now on Trumbull, and I don't know how much of this you'll be able to see, but walking up Trumbull, it's like all ancient houses. Um, I don't know what Victorian means in Detroit, or if these are even um, largely run up, largely redone to look "quote unquote" Victorian, um, or if there's even a different meaning relative to American architecture. I'm just looking at something and saying that looks Victorian because I'm Canadian, but. I mean, when did, when did we lose? We lost Detroit in 1812, right? <sighs> Not that I'm bitter or anything, but, you know, Detroit was a part of Canada for a good while. Anyways, uh... Yeah, I don't think these houses are that old, um, but, uh... I guess a lot of them were initially built in the 19th century at some point. I doubt you'll be able to see much of this, but uh, that's what it's like walking through here. So I'm inside the Trumbullplex between sets. Um, it's kind of a friendly garage, um, a garage in Detroit. It's about right. Uh, it's somewhat of a, of a complex. I'm not gonna really. It's not my place to talk about that. But 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 it's it, it's, it's kind of like a garage show um, in Detroit. Um, I, I I didn't catch any of the last set because I was a little bit woozy. Um, I'm a little bit more um, stable now. Um, I kind of wish I did catch some of it though because it was. Uh, it, it was downright hilarious. Um, I, I'll, I'll definitely go link to that anyways. Um, but uh, I kind of wish I caught some of it. But like I said, I was a little bit woozy. Um, it's just like a, like a, it's a garage in Detroit. <laughs> Well, this, I must say, has yet to happen to me. It seems like I missed the bus by three minutes. Um, or something along those lines. Um, the last bus was supposed to come at 1.09. Um, I was at the bus station at 1.15, but I cut off the route. 
Um, there's not really any way that I should have missed the bus. Um, I it would have been right, right on the button, but I should have caught it. Um, unless the bus left early, which is not supposed to happen on on the late bus. Um, So there is still some hope the bus may come, although it is 1.30, and with every passing minute that hope fails. Um, the way these buses work is that they get stuck in customs, so if somebody is coming through and they have something they shouldn't have, um, then the whole bus gets stopped. So it doesn't seem to me like I should have missed the bus. Um, it seems to me like I should have cut it off, um, and I should have at least seen it drive by, which I did not. Um, but as I say, with each passing minute, um, the likelihood of it coming early, which it's not supposed to do, increases. If so, um, I'm stuck here until I think a little after 5. Um, actually, it would be a little after 6. Um, as mentioned, it's about 1.30, so that's a, that's a good wait. Um, although I still cannot make sense of this, it would mean the bus left early, which is not supposed to happen. Um, so I'm still holding out hope that something got stuck in customs. Um, if not, I have no money, no cigarettes. I have a I have a Walkman that um, is going to die um, in short. Uh, well. I think I've probably got a couple hours, um, but it won't last me the whole night. Um, and as I say, this has yet to happen. I have not missed the bus by three minutes. Um, and like I say, because I cut it off um, before it should have turned the corner, um, and this is the minimum route. Um, I should not have missed it unless it left early, which it's not supposed to do. Um, I guess I got a long night. So it's a little too cold for me to hang out outside for the next five hours. Um, I talked to the border guards and it's just, they're, they're surreal. They walk around with guns, um, <laughs> they freak out if you go anywhere near them, and, and they won't shovel you across for, like, like, underneath the tunnel for a minute. Um, Instead, they tell you to go hang out at the uh, hotel across the street. Um, they would agree that I'm not dressed for the weather. They would agree that it's good for me to get in somewhere. But they won't agree to take me a minute underneath the tunnel. It, it, it's preposterous. Um, anyways, um, so it seems I'm here for a bit. Um, hard to say how that works out, but uh, we'll see. So it's a quarter to six, and I did indeed um, survive all night in this hotel lobby. Um, well, all, all, all night I guess is about three hours. Um, I suppose I initially sobered up a little, um, and then almost fell asleep. Um, uh, a coffee will be quite nice when I get over the border. Um, bus, I believe, um, is a little after six, so I still got a few more minutes here. Um, it's it's just the weather. Um, I would probably actually prefer to be at the bus stop. It's just I didn't I didn't wear a coat, so um, I you know I, I've been sitting all night thinking about it, and the bus had to come early. There's really no explanation that makes any other sense. So um, that's disappointing. Um, there was supposed to be a rule about that bus. Um, that what just happened to me is not supposed to ever happen. Um, you're never supposed to get stuck. You, you're never supposed to be on time and get stuck. That's just not supposed to happen. Um, what I will say is it looks like um, I'll probably be um, in um, for most of the next few weeks anyways. Um, so maybe it's uh, kind of a fitting um, slap upside the head there. Um, 
I've been late at shows. I've gone out expecting to stay overnight, but I've never missed the bus by a minute like this before. Um, and it's not, um, it's not the happiest feeling. But it, it, it's almost over. Um, I say it's uh, it's a quarter to. Um, I, I'm gonna leave here around five two. So um, I got another ten minutes and then I'm out of here. So I am back in Canada's most important institution, um, and while I didn't have the presence of mind to bring a jacket, um, well, I thought it'd be home early enough, um, I, I did have the presence of mind to bring a toque, um, gloves, um, along with the coffee. These are what are required to walk around um, in Canada this time of year. The coffee is actually very, very keenly important um, for temperature. You can uh, get away with about five degrees on that. Um, hopefully you can see that it is actually snowing. Um, now snowing here, that doesn't really mean it's cold. Um, in fact, you know it's cold when it's not snowing in the winter. There's a point where it becomes too cold to snow. Um, that's, that's actually cold. Um, this is, I mean, the, the freezing mark in Canada, it's not, it's not even the beginning of cold. It's, it, it's actually broadly considered quite, um, balmy. Um, <clears throat> but, um, it, it does mean that it's around the freezing mark. Um, I'm going to guess it's probably around actually one or two degrees. Um, um, the, the sweater and jacket, um, it's actually just fine up to maybe around minus five so I'm actually a good ways to go but I mean the, what that means is that you're walking from A to B um, probably not more than an hour um, standing outside for five hours is not um, you, you can't dress like this for that so um, I guess I'm about 15 minutes away um, it's important that I drink my coffee so I'm gonna put this away If at home, but this is um, something that's not so great about this city. Um, I like where I live. I like the fact that I'm close to a major center. That that's actually an improvement over Ottawa. Um, the show, the the tones of the show are different. I'll say. Um, I have noticed that there are, or there have been the odd show in um, Ottawa that hasn't come to Detroit. Um, Detroit's, as I'm sure you know, um, not, not the city with the best reputation, so sometimes Detroit gets skipped. But overall, um, it's, it, it's, it, it's an improvement um, as far as the number of shows um, and, and the shows that I really want to see. Um, but the bus situation is not good. Um, I'll say it again. I am certain I was there on time tonight. Um, that was fucked up. That shouldn't have happened. But even so, um, one o'clock is a little early for the last bus coming out of downtown Detroit. It's almost kind of pointless even, when you think about it for a second, because anybody coming home at 1 o'clock, it's like nobody's coming home from work at 1 o'clock from Detroit to Windsor, right? So it's like late night, people, you know, doing nightlife stuff, in which case 1 o'clock is irrational. Um, the bus should come at 2. Right? It's like, like, it should come after two because that's when the bars closes too. So, I mean, what's the point of even running a bus at one? It would make more sense, if you ask me, for them to not even run a one o'clock bus, to just run that bus at two instead or two thirty. Um, you know, like stop the buses at, at midnight and then have like a last bus at two thirty. 
That would make far more sense. But what would make even more sense than that would be for there to be a way for people to get over the border without having to be in a vehicle. I mean, the bus system is... It's there, and I rely on it, but... I would much rather rely on my feet, um, uh, you know, to have a way for me to get over and just walk. As it is, you cannot bicycle through the tunnel, you cannot walk through the tunnel, you have to be in a vehicle. I Meaning you have to have a car, or a cab, or a bus, and it's extremely limiting. Um, I, I, the, I mentioned some other time that the, or maybe I mentioned tonight too, that the, that the cab is $60. Um, you know, I, I talked to the border guards and he's like, why don't you take a cab? I said, because it's, it's, it's $65 American, and after the exchange rate, that's going to be like 80 bucks, 90 bucks. Um, and he kind of looked at me, he's like, yeah, I, 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 I've been there. It's like, as though $90 on a cab ride is a normal expense, and that's something, that I, I think most people could not afford that. It's 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 prohibitively expensive for most people. It's not a it's not a reasonable expense for a two minute bus for a two minute cab ride, right? So it's prohibitive, um, and it's prohibitive to anybody um, unless you're a you know, you're making a six figure salary. That's prohibitive. Um, so that's really what's seriously missing um, is, is is some option to transit that doesn't require an, an automobile. Um, I understand that the tunnel is not the best and the people that own the bridge are assholes. Maybe when they build the new bridge um, it'll have, I sure hope it has a pedestrian option. Um, a, a bicycle option would be um, even better. Um, that will be for a few more years. You know what would be even cooler and even better? And I've actually tried to float this idea a little bit around. I haven't got much response from it, though. Um, I think there should be a pedestrian walkway over the bridge. Um, just like a, a walkway. You know, they, you, you see them over roads and, and, you know, highways and stuff. Just build it over the bridge. Um, specifically, pedestrian. Um, well, and bicycle. So, so, so no cars, no no motor vehicles, no no, no motor bikes. Um, just just a pedestrian walkway. Um, I think it would be very easy to see here. Um, I mean, you'd have to be a pretty big dumbass to think you're gonna, you know, DK out the border guards on one side and then like like what do you accomplish? You, you you've got you're in a tunnel. You're you're a sitting duck. Um, so it's it, it would be very <laughs> to secure um, if you think about it for a second. Um, so it, I mean, it wouldn't be a security issue, um, and it would be um, massively useful. Um, I think it would also probably really cut down on congestion um, because a lot of people would just bicycle or walk if they didn't have to drive. Um, you know, people that, that, that just take daily commutes, they could just walk, it would be great. Um, and from that perspective, it might actually help to, uh, to freshen up, um, areas of Detroit as well, if there's a lot more pedestrian traffic. Um, I mean, the, the, the core of downtown Detroit is not bad, but... You get the idea, you know. Um, but this is, I mean, it's, 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 it's the downside. Um, I do kind of miss being able to walk out of the bar at 3 o'clock in the morning and just walk home. Um, that, 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 that was nice. Um, um, and once in a while, I mean, it's just that there's nothing in Windsor. Um, I haven't been to it. I mean, I, I will eventually get to a show here in Windsor at Fog, but um, it's really the place I'd go to here. Um, 
Well, besides there's a, there's a kind of like a math rock promo group that does random stuff um, in, in odd places. But I mean, like, overall, I'm not going <coughs> to be out much here just because it's... I, I think there's increasingly Canadian bands are playing this side of the border instead of the other side. It's probably a tax thing. Um, but um, it, it, it's... I'm not really a fan of that sort of indie rock, really. Um, but um, as, 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 a, as a resident here, um, I, I do find that extremely limiting. Um, the easiest thing to do would just be to sit on the bus an hour. But the ideal thing, um, I would love to be able to walk home. Um, you know, if you can make it so, make it so. Um, I'm late on my meds. Um, I had a had a bagel at the Timmy's, um, so I'm, I'm I didn't eat before I went. Well, I had something. I had leftovers from yesterday, but it wasn't a meal. Um, but um, I think I'm going to be too tired to eat, um, so I'm out um, later.